In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Adobe Premiere Pro and make an animated subscribe button for your YouTube videos, which is gonna look like this. So let's get started. Welcome to another tutorial video here on my YouTube channel Nemo TV. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe and turn on your bell notifications. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make an animated subscribe button which is going to look like what I'm using on my YouTube videos using Adobe Premiere Pro software. In here, I have my Adobe Premiere Pro ready and open. I have included all of the image files that you're going to need to create this animated subscribe button. Uh, below in the descriptions, you can download them. I have also included the completed project. If you don't have time, you can just download that and just drag and drop it over your project and use it. For the first step, uh, I have my Adobe Premiere Pro open. I have created my project. If you don't know how to create a project, make sure that you check out my previous tutorial on Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm just going to put the link here on top, just find it and click on it. If you know how to do it, okay, we have a project ready and set. In order to get started, I have to import my raw footage, which I've already recorded over here, raw footage. So if I play it, it's gonna look like this. I just drag and drop it on my timeline. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe and turn on your bell notifications. All right, so I want my animated subscribe button to appear over here. So everything is gonna be in accordance to this uh, position. In order to get started with this, I go to import, make sure that you are on assembly and project tab. You go to import, uh, you have to download all of the image files that I've included below in the description. Uh, you just import all of them here over your project and we're gonna start from there. All right, uh, so first I'm gonna need my subscribe button in red to show up where I point my finger over there. Subscribe, that you subscribe. All right, over here. So this is the time that I want this red button to show up and then it's gonna turn to, into gray when I click over it. So it's gonna be, let's say, if I play it. That you subscribe. Okay, when I say subscribe, I want my pointer to click on the subscribe button, so it's gonna show up sooner, let's say, over here. Ready, make sure that you subscribe. All right, when I say subscribe, I want it to turn to gray. So I drag and drop the gray one after this over here on my timeline. That you subscribe and turn on your bell notifications. All right, now I want both of these two, I mean, they are the same but in different colors. I want these two elements to move to here. So I go to one of them, I select the red one, I go to editing and over here I change its position. I just, I can, or I can just drag and drop it. I double click on this and I put it right here. And uh, in order to move the other one which is right here to the same position of the red one, we zoom in using the screwball, copy and I right click on the gray one, which I want it to be moved to the same position, paste attributes, and I just click on okay, make sure that your motion is clicked. Perfect. So now it looks like- you this. subscribe and turn on your bell notification. Perfect. Uh, over here, I want to add some tracks for my visuals. I go to add track, I, I add like three or four, and I move these two to upper levels. I can also drag this and take it higher so I have uh, more view of the, my timeline. All right, it's time for my other elements. Uh, let's add our bell. I put it below this. Be why below? Because I want it to hide underneath of this button and then it's just gonna slide to the right side. In order to do that, I just make sure that it ends over here. And in the beginning, I go, I just select it from here. I just click on it or on my timeline. I go to editing and in here, make sure that you're on effect controls. Depending on my time, I can change how, how I want it to uh, change its position or other attributes. Go to position, I turn the toggle animate on. So in, make sure that you're in the beginning of the time frame where the bell is showing up. So in the beginning, I am choosing its position. I just move it to the right. I bring it up. 
so it's gonna hide underneath my subscribe button. I'm so uh, I need to do it a little bit lower. Oh, right here is fine. And after, uh, I click over it. I want it to still remain in the same position, so I can easily copy this and paste it over here. And when I click on subscribe, I want it to move to the right side. So I go to the time where I want it to move to the right and I just, sorry, I just move it to the right side. Here. So this is how it looks like right now. That you subscribe and turn on your bell. That you again. subscribe and turn on your All right, perfect. And when I say turn on your bell notifications, make sure that uh, we have these rings. I mean, kind of ring effects, which are gonna pop out from the top side of the bell. I uh, start with the left one. I drag and drop it over here. I'm gonna need another track for the other one. All right, so this is gonna be for my uh, left ring. I work on this first, so it's right here right now. All I need to do is to do the same with the bell, but I'm gonna hide it underneath my bell. So I select it from my timeline. I go to editing, effects control, and I take it to the beginning. I can actually start it from here, so I don't have to show it up in here. I put it here, so. And turn on your bell notification. Okay, when I'm clicking on my bell notification, it's gonna be activated. So let's say starting from here. Turn on your bell notifications, okay, in here. So in the beginning, I take this, I click on my ring left, I take it to the beginning. And I turn on the position. Okay, the initial position is gonna be underneath my uh, bell. So I kind of hide it. Yeah, here's fine. And then I have my ring effect on the right. I do the same. I select it. Right now it's over here. I go to editing effects control. I come to the beginning of the uh, time frame for this. I click on position to activate it. And then I just move it. Just make sure that you hide it on top of the, I mean, underneath the belt, but on the top. Okay. All right, in the next step, I'm gonna bring my pointer, which is right here. The pointer can be on top of these guys. It started earlier. I haven't already made Okay, so when I have my sub. Make sure that you subscribe. Okay, and here I want it to show up. I do the same. I select it, editing, effects control. I activate the position, but I first go to the beginning. Okay, I activate the position. So in the beginning, I want it to be out of my screen bring it at the bottom okay when I'm asking them to subscribe I'm gonna move it over here you see my keyframes are being added I click and then when I wanted to click on the bell notifications one frame before I want to make sure it maintains the same position so I copy this and I paste it here and then I am actually clicking on my bell notifications I want it to be moving to the right side so I change my X to over here so this is how it looks like right now make sure that you subscribe and turn on your bell notification okay and I can move it out of the display when I'm done with my clicking process. So first I copy this, I paste it over here, and then I move it out. I can take it to the right, like this. Okay, so this is how it looks. Make okay. sure that you subscribe and turn on your bell notifications. Thank you. Okay, now I want my uh, the bell effects, the ones, the, the bell ones that we added, pop out when I click on my bell notification. So all I need to do is select the left one. So let's say we click in here. But before that happens, I need to, I can, I have two options. I can move this to over here, or if I'm keeping this here, I need to copy paste exact same position 
on this frame and then I move it to the next one and uh, pop it out. Uh, I'm doing the second one right now. So I move it over here. I want it to pop out in here. Now I'm gonna need to set the position. So I'm gonna move it to the top and a little bit to the left. Here is fine. And we do the same, but we need to make sure we are keep maintaining the same time. So when I click on this, you see, I have the exact time selected over here. So if I'm moving this over here, I use this arrow, I go to this time. Now I click on the right one and move this to here. And again, I go to the left one, I move to the next keyframe, which is popping out. And then I click on the right and I look at the screen and set the coordinate. I move it to the top, let's say, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the top. All right, here's fine. So this is how it looks like. Let's see. And make sure that you subscribe and turn on your bell notifications. Perfect. Uh, there is, there are a few steps remaining. First is uh, our clicking effect, which is this one. I put it on top. This is how it looks like. Let me show you. You see this? Uh, let me move it to the top. So when I'm clicking, I want it to kind of peer. You subscribe and over here. So all I need to do is I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. I make sure that I'm, I'm editing effect control. I move it to the right, I put it on the tip of the pointing finger, over here. So this is how it looks like. Right, and turn it. Make it shorter, exactly where the color changes, here. Right, and turn. Right, and Right, and turn on your. Uh, let's move it here. Right, and Turn on your belt. Okay. okay, when I'm turning on the bell notification, I need the exact same thing. So I copy this. If you want it to be pasted on the same track, you deactivate the V1, you select this, and then you just paste it. You copy this, and then you just hold Control V, and it's gonna be pasted over here. So I check on my video. Notifications. Bell notifications. Bell right here. Bell uh, Okay, all I need to do right now is just changing its position from here to here. I just changed my X to here. Right, and turn on your bell notifications. Perfect. Uh, the final step would be the sound effect, the clicking sound effect. In order to do that, uh, I already, I think I already have my sound effect ready. It's also included in the file that I've attached. I'm just going to import it. Uh, it's right here. Sounds. Mouse click. So let's listen to it. It looks like this. Okay. All I need is from here, mark in and mark out. Then I drag and drop it over here. So click over here okay let's adjust it. you subscribe and okay it's gonna be in here and turn on your bell notification and we need one more I copy this I just disable this and I call control V to paste it notifications thank you perfect let's see how our final video looks like Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe and turn on your bell notifications. Thank you. And yeah, you have your animated subscribe button ready to go to be used on your YouTube videos. If you have any questions regarding to this tutorial, let me know below in the comments. Before you get started, make sure that you download the file that I've included below in the description. Please stay home, wash your hands as much as you can coronavirus situation and yeah take care and be safe peace out